Hey everyone, this is Teresa from Base 10 Montessori, and today I want to teach you the zero game. And the zero game is something we play when we're trying to teach the concept of zero in the three to six year old environment. Usually when we play the zero game in Montessori, we play it like Simon says. And so a child will say, touch your nose nine times, jump up and down six times. And then they might say, touch your knee zero times. And if they touch their knee, you have to say, oh, I said zero times, you can't touch it, right? So we play it just like Simon says, which works really well for older children. But considering the fact that usually when I'm giving this lesson, it's for a three or four year old, that Simon says concept is still pretty hard. So instead of doing the Simon says concept with this, what I've done is I've done movement cards and I'm gonna take a bunch of numbers just like the sandpaper numbers. And I'm gonna play a little movement game with it. So I just made up these little cards, just out of paper. And they look a little bit like the sandpaper numerals. And then I made movement cards. Now these movement cards, I will put a link to down below, um, but I will tell you that I changed them up just a little bit because it had a lot more words to it. I didn't really like it. I didn't like all the movements that this person put with it. And the other thing is I changed the font uh, because I really didn't like the font. I wanted to keep it nice and simple and I wanted to stay with my century gothic font because that's what I like to put in my three to six year old environment. So now I added some extra zeros to my card stack here and you'll see why in just a second. Now the first time through I'll make sure and go through everything with them, make sure they understand all the motions, make sure that they can understand what this is all about and then I'm gonna turn them over. So I would simply turn over the number and then I would turn over the movement card and I would say, oh, look at this. Touch your knee how many times? Two. So let's touch her knee two times. One, two. You can put this one at the bottom of the pile if you want. And this one you can either put at the bottom of the pile or you can just put above it in an all done pile. And then you move to your next one. Let's do this one. Seven. What are we gonna do? Ooh, you're gonna walk seven steps. And so when you see something like walk, I'm just gonna say seven steps instead of counting to seven because I really wanna make sure that when we're doing movement with this game, that we're really getting that one-to-one -one correspondence. So instead of counting to seven, we wanna make sure we're actually counting seven specific movements. Because if you just count up to seven and it's not coordinated to something, it's not really solidifying that one-to-one -one correspondence. So I would be very specific and say, okay, you're gonna walk seven steps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna put that down there. All right, and now, oh, look at that. We've got a zero. And what I'm gonna show them for zero is you're just gonna freeze like a statue. So you're gonna freeze, give them a few seconds, and then you can have them move on to the next one. When we're working with zero in the classroom, we've already worked with it in the spindle boxes before we play this game. So we've already gone over the concept that when we see zero in the spindle boxes, it stays empty. It means we can't do anything with it. So in this game, we're gonna carry that forward into the freeze and say, oh, we can't do anything with zero, so we have to freeze. So every time they see a zero come up, zero, they're gonna freeze. So you may wanna actually make your own cards for this instead of using the sandpaper numbers because then you can incorporate a few more zeros in here. And also you can incorporate this as a different activity that's not associated with the sandpaper numbers. So I just wanna show you the cards real quick so you can see what all pictures we have in here. We've got stomp, walk. Now when we walk, we're gonna walk a certain amount of steps. Knee touch, hop, stretch. And stretch, make sure that they're stretching with a specific movement like stretch once, stretch twice, you know, side to side. Make sure they're actually counting a full stretch and then move into another one because we really want that one-to-one -one correspondence. Jumping jacks, you may have to show them. You may have to have a group lesson on jumping jacks because sometimes that's a little tricky. Push-ups, jump. 
They usually love the jump, clap, and toe touch. So again, you can just go through all the movements. You can show them all the cards, make sure they get that one-to-one -one correspondence in, and anytime they find a zero, they have to freeze. Anyways, that is all I have to show you today for the zero game. I hope you liked it. I hope you can incorporate it into your classroom. Uh, I know I do it a little bit differently than my album. So if you are a Montessori teacher, I understand this might be a little bit different way to go about it. Hopefully you like it. If not, tell me how you like to incorporate the zero game into your classroom and if you have any good ideas. So that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.